Hey folks, Homer Barra back here on the show floor of San Diego Comic-Con 2013. I am definitely at one of my top five booths. We're here at Alex Ross. Sal, once again joining us, man. How you doing, buddy? Coming back. I'm good. It's good. Always great to see yeah. you. Another year, another con. You guys got all sorts of stuff. Yeah, we're, we're keeping it together. We're trying anyway. <laughs> you came the first night, so we still got our sanity. <laughs> yeah, we go. still got a little bit Yeah, left. come back on Sunday. It's probably not going to be the same thing. So come back tomorrow, and I'll be laying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but let's take a look. You'll be you'll look like one of these guys, right? Yeah, Alex just finished up the uh, poster for AMC, The Walking Dead, and it's people are going crazy. They really love it, and uh, it's available at the walking at the AMC booth. And uh, yeah, it's it's you know it's 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 a it's a process. We worked with them a little bit. They loved Alex's work, and it just all came together. And you guys, you guys are actually, you know, you guys have some more franchises that you're yeah. you're diving into. Let's take a look at this real quick. He just did a, uh, we just did, a, he did a, a cover. The, um, it's kind of like a partner to the to the uh, Justice League piece he did. He did the Avengers, kind of right after the film. Um, he did the, uh, we did Green Lantern. He did some Golden Age stuff with the Shadow. Uh, he just did a cover for the uh, movie adaptation of Django that was put out by DC over the summer. And uh, the Tarantino movie, and um, you know, just keeping it, you know, keeping busy. Lots of other stuff we did. Uh, I don't know if you could see over here. Let me get him back here. You could see we did. Um, um, uh, I did uh, Dark Horse did the uh, Star Wars adaptation. We did some covers of Star Wars. You had Alex just did, we got a Man of Steel. He did stuff, kind of a more modern Superman, mm -hmm. a little bit shinier, a little more of a, of a futuristic Metropolis. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, just uh, keeping it together. He's got uh, some more Golden Age stuff. I got a little Bill Sienkiewicz down there. He did a, uh, an album cover. So, so it's, it's, you know, we're trying to constantly, you know, we're, we're delving into a little more, working with the gamers, working his, his, his real passion is comics. So he's still primarily comic book oriented, but um, it's, it's all good, man. It really is. And the important thing is to keep working. You mentioned you guys did, you're talking about the video game stuff, you guys did some Assassin's Creed, you did some... Yeah, Alex did the gaming, uh, the cover and the packaging for Assassin's Creed, which was last winter, and then we just did Watch Dogs, yeah. which is a game that just came out. And we got some other stuff in the pipeline they're working on, so it's, it's kind of interesting. Alex is, a, is really not a gamer as much as a comic guy, but he's just, it's, he finds it all fascinating. And, and the gaming people are great, and they're all, you know, supercharged about comics, so... And you know it's it's all becoming multimedia now. It's yeah. kind of all tied together, so it's kind of like it's one of those things you can't really say yes to this and no to that right. without you know closing yourself off to big parts of what's going right. on. It's kind of expanding your horizons, right? Yeah, as you can see, it's everything now. It's yeah. kind of it's not just comics anymore. It's all of it. So, cool. but it's important to stay busy, keep your you know keep you know stay relevant. He's doing good work. They love what he's doing and. Um, Let's you talk know, about some why, of these. Why work for a living, right? You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. works overrated, man. Yeah, you know, we we should we like to have different. Like here, you can see Assassin's Creed. Oh, cool. You know, kind of in the in the rough stages. You know, where it starts as a layout, it starts as a conceptual design, and then he tightens it up and it works all the way up to the end. You see the paintings. Oh, cool. You know, I see more of the painted stuff. You know. and is this all work that he's been doing yeah, this year? This stuff that's kind of you know in process. We just did a War of the Worlds. You know, he did a, a cover for War of the Worlds. This is kind of the layout stage, and then this is a kind of a color mock-up to you know to test out what he wants to do with the colors, and then he takes that to the final painting stage. So you kind of work out all your problems. You know, you don't, you got to go on a couple of dates before you get married. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> and this is again same thing. We work. It's called thumbnails. You work in a thumbnail stage to work up the cover. To you know, to kind of figure out your composition and your layout and your darks and your lights, and and then that way you know you see if the client is happy with it, and from there you get approval and you go on to, you know, over here at the end you see the finished painted stuff. You know. Okay. So what, what what do we got right here? What's this? This should be uh, for Kirby verse. This is a Phantom cover. Um, we've got a uh, you know brand new piece he did for Fury, which is a book he does for Dynamite Entertainment. You know, Phantom, you know, Mass, again, some of this is Golden Age, but this is all new stuff. This is from the Kirbyverse line, uh, you know, Flash Gordon, you know, Steve Canyon. This is all, you know, he's just, it's absolutely his first passion, his comic, so this is kind of where his heart is. Let's talk, any, any Comic-Con exclusives this year? What, what do we got? Yeah, we did a, we did a, a sketchbook. You know, we like, to, we like to, you know, keep it, you know, all price ranges yeah. so that, we, you know, people want, you know, come from all over, they want a souvenir. We did a... We did this is a, we did a 2013 sketchbook. These are some of the, the past year sketchbooks if people want them. 
And, you know, and it, it, it works because, again, people come and they just, you know, they're not necessarily art buyers, but we like to cater to everybody. You know, if they just want a souveniring you know, sketchbook. You know. what's, what's the theme of this year? I, I got the sketchbook from last year. What's yeah, the theme of this year? This year, this year we did two. We did a hardcover variant, which is the Joker, but it's just basically the same as the, you know, um, the regular sketchbook. It's the same guts, but this is the, uh, the Justice League. You know, and it's the same guts. We figured, you know what? We just kind of wanted to try to do a special variant, so we did the hardcover. So they're both available, and you know, and so far they've been they've been selling really well. Awesome. Sal, thanks for the rundown once again, man. It's always a pleasure. We love seeing. You. Give us give folks a rundown where they can come check us out at the booth. AlexRussArt.com is is a website, but otherwise you're San Diego. It's booth 2419. You know, just kind of follow the crumbs. You know, we. Call it a donuts, or where we're, you know, we, we're, we were trying to get the blender going, but they stopped us before, and uh, it's all good. We ran out of penicillin, so. <laughs> well, that, now, I'm, now I'm real disappointed, man. This is what it came from. It, it's, it's early, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. Cool. Sal. So, oh, oh, thanks so much for stopping. Thanks again, man. appreciate it. Folks, come by the Alex Ross booth or go check out alexross.com, right? Yeah, alexrossart.com. All right, cool. Thanks again. Go to the state show right now.